I forced myself to get out of bed before you guys came. What, are you here at 11.30? Yeah, that wasn't fun. Okay, so this is the first ever joke I wrote for The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and the producer went down and kept the cue cards that Jay read them off. This is the last check that Jay ever wrote me. He used to just hand sign all of his checks at the end of the week and then post them out to people. So the plan for the day, meeting a guy named Sando who uh, knows Oslin and then go do some gigs. This is kind of how I see writing comedy. It's kind of like cooking. You need ingredients and then you need the apparatus to cook it. I've spent last you know few years developing apparatus in a sense, learning how to write a joke, doing funny accents, act outs, the apparatus of a comedian. Well, the ingredients are your observations and the content. The ingredient that I'm working with today is a nasal douche. So I've been getting like infections and things like that in my nose and I spoke to my sister about it and she says, oh, you should clean out your sinuses and you need a nasal douche. And my first response was, I've been called that before. <laughs> now, if there's not a comedy routine in that, I'll be very disappointed. This is from Hard Rubbish Collection. I looked at my finances and decided that it was within my budget to get a free bike and a free helmet. What a package deal. Oh, hey. I was thinking on the ride here about the nasal douche joke. Yeah. And I thought, if I'm setting it up, so like, generally, a joke has a setup and a punchline, generally. In the setup, you want it to be clean, so rather than saying, I was speaking to my sister about my nasal infections or whatever, sinus infections, I thought I'd just say a doctor. So I was speaking to a doctor. It's kind of like, I think it's cleaner. It's like if that cooking analogy still stands, it's like, the food's the same, you're just cleaning the plate. I'm gonna make my joke about a doctor. Like, I learned K like this. Yeah. But there's other ways to yeah, do Yeah, there's that. other ways to do K. But that, that's not so much. But the, can that be state-based? Like not, the, not so much. That's um, more of a historical thing. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what's the state-based difference? Um, so there's like, so for example, um, coffee in mm. Adelaide is coffee. <laughs> whereas <laughs> in Melbourne, it's coffee. Right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Surely there's a joke there about Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne's they're constantly drinking their coffee. <laughs> so tonight I've got three spots, and they're all just like ten minutes ish. I have bits about language, and then that connects to Oslin. So. The new joke still fits under the topics I already talk about. I, I don't like doing a set and just go, oh, here's another thing I thought of. I try to have some sort of segues. I wonder if anyone's here. And he's gearing up to uh, tour his brand new show, which is called Human. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Simon Taylor. I, I learned some Auslan today, right? And apparently, Auslan, the sign language for Australia, uh, has dialects. I didn't know that. How cool is that? Like from state to state, they have different dialects. Like coffee in Adelaide is this, coffee in Melbourne is this, and coffee in Sydney is shit. Uh, Oslin, that's Oslin. My car is so dusty, I've been getting sinus infections. I've got like sinus infections and blocked nose really easily. And I saw a doctor about it to get antibiotic, uh, antibiotics. And the doctor said, oh, just use a nasal douche. I said, a what? He said, a nasal douche. I said, I've been called that before. He goes, no, it's just, it's like a little contraption. It's like a little container that you stick up your nose and you squeeze salt water through it and it cleans the sinuses. So I went to go buy one and I went to Chemist Warehouse and I asked for a douche. And they said, what kind? I'm like, what? There are other kinds of douches? And they're like, yeah, well there's a nasal douche or there's a vaginal douche. And I said, I think I'll have the nasal one. 
think? And I said, is there a penis douche? And the guy's like, no. And I realized, of course there's no penis douche because the penis is self-cleaning. Right? It's connected to the bladder and the abdomen and the nerves. Like basically anyone with a penis is a douche. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Medically speaking. <laughs> So that gig was okay. The audience was a little bit quiet, but um, that was just like a numbers thing. So when I was getting something to eat before this gig, I ran into some comedians down the road and there's another show on. So I'm gonna try drop into that. The Sydney joke was worked okay, but I think it's a bit easy. I think I'll do it like maybe another time. And if I feel a bit, I know I feel a bit um, cheap by doing, just making fun of Sydney and saying they're coffee shit. Everything needs work. One day I was doing this and this guy came over to me who worked at Chadston. And he was higher up than me and he knocked on the window. And, and here is Simon you? Taylor. Yeah, woo! So I'll have a nasal one, thank you. I think that's probably best. And I found out that there's no penis douche because the penis is self-cleaning. Like technically speaking, in medical terms, because it's self-cleaning, the thing attached to a penis is a giant douche. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that joke will never be said again. All right, guys, we all determined it with a groan. I know what that means. All right, that felt okay. Um, I think I don't like getting a groan. That's why I don't like that, that men are a giant douche. Like I don't, the other, room I didn't like it I didn't like it here it just gets like a Ugh. so I don't want to do that ever again but maybe I might play with it one more time but besides That's that fun I've seen here since so while we're doing that so thank you so much It took me four years to get a paid gig at this place because Tuesdays is either new material or new comedian night and I did that for four years and then eventually I got a Wednesday which is a paid gig. So, my first ever set here, I like died a horrible death, like visceral, no one laughed at me, this is the worst. And after that, I'm like, I've got to get this right. And it took me four years to be paid to do it. And here I am. <laughs> right. English is like flat tone language, like ha, low, very flat. But then Chinese is tonal, right? Like, me? No. Down and up. But you put them together, you get Australian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Australian language. That's what it is. And it's our language. It's not English because we have our own name for it. It's not called Australia anymore. What is it? Australia. Beautiful. Don't say that A. Hold on to that A. <laughs> say Australia. Because you can use that A for other things. <laughs> like turning a statement into a question. It's pretty good. A. <laughs> use it there. Like if you have a friend named Rob and a friend named Steve, don't say good day, Rob and Steve. It's very English. There's two O's in that good. Hold those O's. You say, good day. Robbo, Steve-o. That's how you use it. I also learned some Auslan today, some Australian sign language, that stuff's cool. And there's dialects. Like different states have different words in, in sign. Like for example, in Adelaide, coffee is this. But in Melbourne, coffee is this. And in Sydney, coffee is shit. <laughs> so <it's> just... <laughs> Ridiculous. And I like my car, but it's so dusty that it gives me sinus infections. <laughs> and I went to the doctor about it, and he said, well, you know what you can do? You can get a nasal douche. And I said, I've been called that before. <laughs> he says, no, it's like a little container, and you put salt water in it, and you stick it up your nose and you squeeze it and it washes it out and then you become Cleo Bachelor of the Year because what's hotter than that? And the ladies... <laughs> and I've done it and I've used it and it works but it's very hard to sell it to people. It's like, hey, 
Do you like experiencing the sensation of drowning in the comfort of your own bathroom? <laughs> Try a nasal douche. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I feel like I go through. So I was out going out to the country and I got a flat tire. And I thought, I'm a resourceful guy. I'm a 28-year-old city boy. I know what I'm doing. So I pull my phone out and Google, how do I change a flat tire? But there was no reception. So what I did is I sat down to die. So that felt better. I ditched the um, vaginal douche and the, the penis bit because it was just too crass and it didn't feel right for me. So I'm just not going to do that anymore. I mean, he's already, yeah, you can seriously say no, so fuck off. <laughs> Guys, we got I wrote some stuff act. in the car. Hopefully, okay. this is okay. Sorry, Taylor! Yeah. 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 Nasal douche is not a fun thing because I have to use the yeah, stick. The first time I did it, I stuck it up my nose. I was hanging out with a douche. And then I had all this salt water pouring out my nose and all these like boogers. So that I reached for toilet paper or ass wipes. <laughs> And I didn't, I was like, I had spent it all morning with ass wipes and douches that I just chilled out with some cotton buds because they made me feel good about myself. <laughs> and that's my set. Have a great night. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Today, I had a seed of an idea for the nasal douche. I knew there was something funny in it. I didn't want it to be an obvious joke, which I don't think it is. I tried a crass joke which didn't work or it didn't feel right. It got some laughs but it didn't feel like the right laugh. And then now I'm on a new direction and I reckon another 10 more times I might have a joke I'm happy with. But then again, I'm never happy with any joke and I don't know why people laugh at me and I don't know why I'm doing this. Just kidding, what a great night.